another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vince and I'm an Army veteran. And today I'm going to talk about a request for VA financial hardship assistance. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can find more content from Vet Talk here on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Reddit for more content. And if you're a veteran, love to share your story or resource for veterans, and a non-veteran who would love to share your resource for veterans, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule the meeting. Now that we got that out the way, let's get into this topic. So again, man, we're talking about requests for VA financial hardship assistance. I know there are many veterans out there who may be going through some kind of financial crisis or situation. And the coolest thing about the VA is they have basically assistance out there for you. And if you're in the state of Texas, man, one of the things I like to encourage you to do is call 211. Again, call 211. And any questions or answers you may need to be answered, I'm pretty sure when you hit 211 up, you can get that. And if they're giving you a hard time and you face some complications, as always, man, you can hit up Brother Vince and I can do the best that I can do to help you find solutions to your problems. So now that I gotten that out the way, let's get into this subject. So man, again, you request, um, you request VA financial hardship assistance. If you're struggling because of life situations like losing your job, having a sudden decrease in income or having an increase in, in, in out of pocket family health care expenses, we can help. You can request financial hardship assistance to manage your current VA co-payment debt or request an exemption from future co-pays. Right here, you can see, as they say, you can now request financial hardship, I mean, help for co-pay bills online. So right here, they have an online section where you can go fill out the VA form 5655 to request financial help for your VA debt related to co-pay. Um, it said, what can I do if I can't afford to pay my current VA copay debt? You can either, uh, um, you can request either of the two financial hardship assistance options below, depending on your situation to avoid late charges, including interest and other fees. You, you'll need to take action within 30 days of receiving your bill. Right here, you can learn more how um, learn more about the VA late charge and debt collection. Option one: set up a repayment plan to pay your debt over time. If you can't pay your co copay debt all at once, you can set up a monthly payment. I mean, repayment plan at any time. We we'll review your proposed payment plan based on the amount of debt you owe and your ability to pay within a reasonable time. We usually require you to pay off your debt within three years. So they give you a three-year option payment plan thing that you can set up and you can go through as they give you one um, steps one through three and you just click on it. You can get your form on 111 to download. You can submit your completed form and any other needed document to us right here. And once you have, um, once they um, approve your repayment plan, begin sending your monthly payments. So they have it all set up here that we can do all this. And they want to also note to you that repayment plans do not include no charges you may receive after submitting your proposed plan. If your plan and then receiving, if you submit your plan and then receive a bill with new charges, please submit a new VA form 1100 for the new charges. If you keep receiving new charges, please call us at 866-400-1238. Again, that's 866-400-1238. Every 90 days to request a new pay, um, repayment plan, we're here Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Then they also have option two. Option two Request um debt relief for some of or all of your copayment debt. If you don't think you can pay your debt with a monthly repayment plan, you can request a debt relief of all or part of your balance. You can request a waiver, access to stop collection actions on the debt, write off, asking us to cancel debt or compromise. Ask us 
to accept a lower amount of money as full payment of the debt. If we grant part or all of your requests, you won't have to pay the amount of the balance we agreed to. So right here, again, they got one, two, three, where you can go through it. You can get your VA form um, 56, 55 to download. You can write a letter um, explaining that number two, explaining why you're requesting debt relief. And three, you can see, um, you can submit your completed form and letter to them. And if you need any more information or help with filling out your form, please contact us at 866-400-1238. We're here Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And just a little side note, no, I do not work for the VA. I'm not affiliated with the VA. I'm just a veteran who like to go through this information with other veterans for other veterans to help veterans because I'm a veteran. What can I do if my income has decreased and I won't be able to make payment? I mean, to pay future copay. You may be eligible for a fine for a hardship determination, which will qualify you for a copay exemption. This means we'll assign you to a higher priority group and you won't have to pay any VA copay for the rest of the calendar year and to request a VA hardship determination and copay exemption, you can come right here in box one, two, three, and you can fill out a request of hardship determination, which is VA form 10-10HS. And right here, you can download that form. You can write um, num at number two, you can write a letter explaining why you're requesting a hardship determination. And three, you can submit your completed form to us, which is them. And note, a hardship co-payment exemption does not apply to co-pay for pharmacy medication. If you need more inf information or help with filling out your form, please contact us at 866-400-1238. Again, that's 866-400-1238. We're here Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And if you need any um, information or other things, such as disputing your co-pay charges, co-pay rate, update your health benefit information, and your health care costs, you can go down here in the bottom box and you can click on one of these blue tabs and you can get the information that you needed. So again, man, this is another um great resource or uh, to have in your back pocket, especially if you're one of those veterans who are in a situation where you're um, facing a financial hardship, you may need assistance. And again, if you're in Texas, like I said, you can call 211 and they can get you to any one or any place that can help you as far as with any of your, you know, needs as far as, you know, having some kind of hardship. You may need food. You, mean, you may need a place to stay. You mean, may need mental health. They got all kind of resources. Um, when you call 211. And again, VA.gov is a great website for you to do your research, for you to find out um, and request or uh, look for information that you need. Man, don't ever um, sit back and just think that, oh, well, I'm going through this situation. Nobody's here to help me. Nobody understand what I'm going through. There's always somebody that can help you. There's always somebody that is here for you. And Brother Vince is one of those people. So, please feel free to get in contact with me. You can leave comments in the description. You can hit me up by email. And at that point, um, I can exchange my number with you because I don't want to put my, uh, my number on the internet. And you know what I'm saying? We can do this thing, man. So this has been another episode with your boy, Brother Vince Vet Talk. As I always say to my great people out there, Vet Talk out.